Share Avaya 72201X Actual Dumps Offered by Successful Candidates Who Passed Recently 1. What statement about the H323 to SIP routing is true? A. Avaya Aura Communication Manager does feature processing for both endpoints. B. Avaya Aura Communication Manager does feature processing for H.323 endpoint only. C. Avaya Aura Communication Manager does feature processing for SIP endpoint only. D. Avaya Aura Communication Manager does not do feature processing for any endpoint in this scenario. Answer. A. 2. You are configuring shared bandwidth management for call admission control, CAC, between Communication Manager, CM, and Session Manager, SM. Which two tasks must you perform to achieve this? Choose 2. A. Specify the shared bandwidth limit on the Communication Manager, SIP, Entity Screen. B. Create Network Region Groups, NRG, in Communication Manager. C. Create Locations in Session Manager. D. Create a Bandwidth Share Group in SM. E. Match the network region used for the SIP users with the domain in SM. Answer. B. C. 3. Which two types of certificate need to be installed on Communication Manager, CM, in order to successfully establish a TLS connection with Session Manager? A backup server and default certificates. B. Site root certificates and security certificates. C. Root or certificate authority. CA. And SIP default certificates. D. Root or Certificate Authority, CA, and CM Server Identity Certificates. Answer. D. 4. Which statement about interfaces and IP addresses on an Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise, SBCE, used for SIP trunking and remote worker services is true? A SIP trunking and remote worker services can use different IP addresses configured on the same interface. B SIP trunking and remote worker services can share the same IP address. C. Only one IP address should be configured per interface. D SIP trunking and remote worker services cannot run on the same SBCE. Answer. A. 5. A remote worker using the Avaya communicator on the smart mobile phone obtains a private IP address delivered from the corporate network over Wi-Fi when in range of the wireless hotspot. When the remote worker is out of range of the corporate Wi-Fi it obtains a public IP address via the 3G, 4G mobile service provider. When roaming from the public network to the corporate private network and vice versa, which strategy prevents the user from having to change the SIP proxy server address in the smartphone? A. Network Address Translation, NAT B. Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise, SBCE, Public IP Address C. Split Horizon DNS with FQDN D. Virtual Private Network VPN Answer. C. 6. A customer called Avaya Support after their telecom administrator was unable to add 50 new telephones for new hires. Avaya support determined that the number of telephones exceeded the capacity the system could support. Which pre-implementation step was omitted? A. 
Accessing support.avaya.com to verify customer systems compatibility. B. Testing all third-party equipment and software. C. Verifying that the version installed is compatible with existing versions. D. Providing accurate licensing specification. Answer. D. 7. What are the two types of certificates the Avaya server uses? A. Root or a Certificate Authority, CA, Certificate and Server Identity Certificates. B. Root or a Certificate Authority, CA, and SIP Default Certificates. C. Site Root Certificates and Security Certificates. D. Backup Server and Default Certificates. Answer. A. 8. What is the purpose of a virtual, intervening, network region? A. To allow intergateway alternate routing. IGAR. B. To simplify bandwidth management between network regions connected via a WAN. C. To allow one network region to temporarily use bandwidth allocated to another network region if it runs out of bandwidth. D. To provide temporary overflow bandwidth when the direct allocation of bandwidth between connected network regions is not available. Answer. B. 9. What is the function of a virtual network region? A. It allows one network region to temporarily use bandwidth allocated to another network region if it runs out of bandwidth. B. It makes DSP resources available in other network regions. C. It allows inter-gateway alternate routing, IGAR. D. It prevents oversubscription of WAN links for interconnecting network regions with different bandwidth limitations. Answer. D. 10. How can you check to see if the Avaya or a Session Manager SM, application processes are running? A. Execute the SMCLI STATOP command. B. On the SM dashboard select status applications from the shutdown system pull-down menu. C. On the SM dashboard select status applications from the service state pull-down menu. D. Execute the SM status all command. Answer. A.